Okay, good morning. Hello, Chris. Good. Uh, happy Monday. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Oh, great. Good morning. Hello, Daniela, uh, Mariana, Jamilka. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Fernanda. Good morning. Hello, Kim. Good morning. Okay, I want to get uh, right into it, guys. Uh, today, we want to continue the activity that we started last week. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to go into the virtual classroom first. Remember, we're talking about progress. And we want to focus our topic on a specific aspect of progress. And again, we talked about some examples coming from this video, life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, etc. We also got some ideas from Wikipedia. So if you open up this PDF file, you'll see also additional examples of types of progress. But remember that we want to focus on progress as positive change, something that has changed over the past uh, several years that has been basically a change for the better. We can, uh, we can accept that still there are problems, there are issues, and uh, th certainly things are not perfect. We still have a lot of problems in a lot of different areas, in these same areas, but we want to focus primarily on positive change, so progress being positive, and uh, really talking about looking at the last 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years, 100 years, whatever the case is, but talking about now it's better than it used to be. Right? It's better now than it was 50 years ago, 100 years ago on this particular topic. Now, today what I'd like to do is I'm going to open up our wiki. And last Friday, you were asked to complete the matrix and then bring over your topic, your context, and your measurements. Remember that the context and measurements need to be in the form of complete sentences, a subject and a predicate. Remember also that the topic should include essentially a title, six to 12 words long. Okay, so make sure that you have in your title, six to 12 words that talks about what your, your example of progress is, and then the context and the measurements. You are also asked to include references. So make sure that in your individual wiki, you have at least one reference, no more than four references, and make sure that you're writing it out according to APA. So this is really kind of a, an exercise in learning APA and the specifics of what text should we capitalize, what should we italicize, what about punctuation? Do we need a comma? Do we need a period? Do we include the link, et cetera? And so this is uh, an example of this. We need to include here in your references uh, this information. So this is what you were asked to do last Friday. Today, on Monday, June 15th, we want to begin thinking now about evidence sentences. This is going to be similar to what we did uh, last, uh, the last project that we did, the last activity. In your evidence, I want you to include types of evidence that answers certain question words. Maybe it answers the question word, what? Maybe it answers the question word, how? Why? When? Where? The evidence should be a specific example, a detailed right, that speaks to the main idea of your paragraph, of your idea. All right, so in this evidence here, in, um, in this fifth item here, I'd like for you to write out your evidence sentences, okay? We need, um, I think we need to have at least two. It could be from the same reference it could be from the same reference but the evidence sentences i would like at least two evidence sentences that you could use 
in your paragraph. I don't want you to write the paragraph yet. All I'm asking is that you write one or like two, at least two sentences that include evidence, a detail that answers one of the question words. So maybe begin the sentence with the question word itself. All right, let me uh, go in here as an example. All right, so if if I have a qu evidence, maybe you have here a, a heading, evidence. Okay, you can go up here and give it a heading, however you want. And then you can say how. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would put how. And maybe we can do a bullet point. And then add your sentence with your citation. And then maybe your second example answers the question why. Add your sentence with your citation. All right, so it's going to be something like this. Now above this, you're going to have references just as from what you completed before. And you could have headings maybe at the top here, measurements. Context. Oops. And what the title. Just to keep the same order here, title. OK, so then underneath each of these headings, you could include the information for each. But for evidence, just list out and state first the question word that the question that the sentence answers, then write out the sentence and we're looking for something specific. So the evidence sentences, evidence should be specific and are usually an example, a detail, a statistic, a fact, right? These are things you can think about when you're writing out your sentence. Am I, is this a detail? Is it a fact? Is it a statistic? Right? Etc. Okay, so from here you can include this and then in your citation at the end of the sentence you'll have the author's last name and then the year. Okay, so it could look something like this. The author's last name, last name, and then a year. All right, so here now we're going to have an example of at least one reference and at least two citations. Okay, but again, we're not writing the paragraph itself. Right? We're just writing evidence sentences. Today, this is all I want us to work on is the sentences here, and then, of course, any other questions that we have regarding the first four points that we started working on last uh, Friday. All right, so that's what I'd like to, for us to do today. Are there any questions about what we're doing today or any of these, basically, these five points that we're going to be uh, working on? No. No. OK, today we're going to be working only in the wiki. Uh, of course, if you're still finishing the, the matrix, then go ahead and be working in the matrix to finish that or, or copy and paste what you're what you've completed over to the wiki. Um, but I'll be primarily working or looking at your wikis today unless we need to look at something in your matrix. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. You just jump in if you have questions, unmute your microphone and uh, ask away and we'll um, we'll take a look at it.
Okay, guys, we're getting close to the end of the class. Uh, I want to give you an idea of what we're working towards this week as we continue to develop this activity. We're going to develop a paragraph similar to the last, uh, the last activity that we did. We want to try to uh, develop this by Thursday because on Friday I want to do something a little bit different. I want to uh, have us read the uh, text, read the text aloud, just word for word, read the text um, that that you have. When you guys are writing, especially in your writing classes, anytime you're asked to write uh, an essay later on going into next year, next semester, going into uh, the BA degree, it's always a good idea to read your text, whatever you write out, read it out loud and so that you can hear yourself and hear the text that you wrote out. So our goal for this week, and we're going to do a couple more activities before we get into the paragraph, but I just want to give you an idea where we're going. On Thursday, we want to have completed uh, a paragraph, and on Friday, we want to recite uh, the paragraph. Okay, so again, don't worry about writing the paragraph right now. We're, we're going to take a, a few more steps before we get into the paragraph. But I just want, again, to give you an overview. Does anybody have any questions about what we're doing today with regard to the evidence sentences? Remember, this is just the evidence sentences, no paragraphs, no topic sentences, just the evidence sentences. Or does anyone have any questions about uh, the the matrix that we started last week and uh, going into this week. Okay, so I guess if there are no more questions, then we'll go ahead and stop there for today. Tomorrow we'll pick up this activity and we'll we'll continue with the next step uh, in uh, in this uh, task that we're working on for this week. All right, thanks guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, man. See you.